Hey guys, this is Jenna with How the Heck. Have you ever left your acupuncturist's office with a stick and they called it something? It's probably a moxa stick. It looks a little bit like this and it's great for, well, a ton of things, but one of the main things is supporting your immune system. So today I'm going to show you how the heck you use one of these. So the first thing to know is it's going to smoke and it's going to smell a little bit like weed. So if you live really close to neighbors, or in a house with someone who has asthma or any kind of lung issues, you might want to find a smokeless option, but honestly, these are better. So um, if you can do it outside or find another place, just know there might be a suspicious smell. All right. So the other thing is this lighter will work, but you might have to hold it for a while and it might burn your fingers. So I prefer to use something like this. Um, and I have a couple things in place because things tend to go wrong. And so I like to have them close by. So on this little tray, you'll see this little snuffer. Um, and basically this is to put it out because if you run it under water, once it's lit, it's gonna be really hard to light again. So I have this here. So when I wanna put it out, I can. If you don't wanna buy one of those, no problem. Get a little bit of rice. Um, this is just like jasmine rice that's dry and you can just smoosh it in there at the end and I'll show you that when we're when we're all done. I also have this little Chinese herbal burn cream in case things go really wrong so hopefully we're not going to need to use this today but I have it close by just in case and I have water also in case things go really wrong or if I get thirsty and the tissues are just you know cold and flu season um, good to have close by. So I'm going to show you a point on your leg don't look too close because I have not shaved recently and um, yeah, anyway, all right. So the point we're gonna be using is just right, you have your kneecap here, and then you have this little kind of bumpy bone right underneath your kneecap. Just go a little bit to that outer side and it's ish in that area. Don't overthink it too much. You're gonna be kind of moving that stick around. So don't worry about exactly where it is. Just know that you're gonna get the benefit no matter how far you are. So it doesn't really matter what side you use and you're gonna burn the paper anyway. So don't unwrap it. And I'm just gonna light it, kind of like a cigar, but I'm not gonna smoke it. And then you can do this little like trick. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of gets a little bit red. And I'm just gonna wait till it has a nice kind of even light situation happening. You can probably see it smoking up. It's starting to smell a little bit. Um, so now, there's gonna be two things I'm watching for. One is how close I'm putting it to my skin because I don't wanna burn myself. And the other is ash will start to build up. So the other reason to have a little tray nearby is that you might need to just tap it and ash it every now and then so that ash doesn't fall on you or something pretty. So again, I'm gonna hold the stick. I can kind of supercharge it by blowing on it. In that area, right below my kneecap, you kind of go over that little bump and go over to the side. And I'm just gonna hold it there and I'm gonna to start to feel it get a little bit warm. It feels super good. And I'm also gonna do some fancy movements, like I'm slowly moving it in circles. I'm doing this thing called pecking, where it's like, oh, it got a little too hot. And then I move away and then I go back. You can draw little shapes, little flowers, pictures. You can write your boyfriend or girlfriend's name on your leg, whatever you want. Just keep that area warm, even, and not too hot. You can do that for as long as feels good. If you're watching a TV show, maybe like 10 minutes. And then you're gonna do the other side. And again, don't overthink it. Just do it as long as it feels good. And when you're done, stop. All right, so that's how you use your Moxa stick. And now I'm gonna, if I was gonna use this one, I would just stuff it in there and kind of snuff it around. But I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, rice because more than likely this is what you guys are gonna already have at home. So. Here it is. I haven't had to ash it, but if I did, I could just tap it like this. Not too hard, because you might break it. And then I'm just shoving it in there, mushing it around, and setting it somewhere safe, because just in case things go wrong, you don't want to light anything on fire. So that is how the heck you use a moxa stick. Thanks so much for joining us. Comment below, ask us your questions, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.